Appeal court don't confirm the election of Plateau State Governor Simon Lalong. Senate don't receive letter from President Buhari say make them approve 2016 to 2018 borrowing plan. One joint body Christian Association of Nigeria can don't tell National Assembly say make them throw away the bill where consign social media and hate speech. And the Ajokuta Kaduna Kano gas pipeline work will begin soon. My people, as my people go talk, say thank God it's Friday and welcome to As It Take Happen. My name na Na Douglas. And for the first story, Court of Appeal for Just Division on Friday don't confirm Governor Simon Lalong of Plateau State say true true. Now win the governorship election after then dismiss the appeal where People's Democratic Party PDP governorship candidate Senator Jeremiah Useni bring to challenge the one where we say then declare Lalong winner after the 2019 general election. Senator Husseini been done loose for the election petition tribunal for one judgment where then deliver for October 2, 2019. Husseini will not agree with the judgment where tribunal give Congo Court of Appeal with 20 reasons say Lalong no winner. He talks say Lalong lies sake of the information when give INEC for inform CF0001. As it take happen, the appeal court resolve all the issues where Husseini bring when no letter favor him. Happy Court talks say no law under the 1999 Constitution will stop person to bear a particular number of names within take no harm. And no law will talk say make person answer one particular name throughout in lifetime. Justice O.A. Otisi will read the lead judgment come agree with the lower tribunal, even as they talk say the appeal will usain bring no merit am at all and, uh, and as so then take dismiss him. And for another one, we resemble them. Supreme Court don't tell one king we be a Lerua of Erua inside of your state, or by Samuel Adebayo Adebola, say make a carry himself come out for throne, meaning say he no be Oba again. One five man panel of the highest court for the country will be seen at Justice Muhammad Datijo lead on Friday, can dismiss the appeal where Adebola and six other people carry come. The other way they don't come out for palace, so being carried the matter with both or your state high court and the court of appeal, judge against them, sake of the one we be say, and they drag chieftaincy of who be or who no be over for the kingdom. To confirm the judgment of the high and appeal court, Supreme Court tackled all the five issues so they raise against people we carry the matter come. And all the judges come agree, say the appeal no get merit and it no carry weight at all. Justice Kudirat Kekere Ekun, where some of the lead judgment talks, say the authorities will be the plaintiff, plaintiff that is, person will carry the matter to court, and the appeal, person will bring the appeal for the appeal, no get any bearing for the case. And my people on our feet remember, say Justice Mukhtar Abimbola for one, a bad on high court for 2011, being ordered, say, make Adegbola vacate the throne. As he talks, say, the way where Adegbola carry enter the throne, the illegal, null, and void. And for the meantime, Senate don't receive one request from President Muhammad Buhari say make them approve the 2016 to 2018 borrowing plan for federal government. The letter within date November 26, 2019, and Senate President Ahmed Lawan nine read them for the Senate floor on Thursday for plenary. For the letter, President Buhari talks say the Eighth National Assembly approved some part of the external borrowing request within sent to them for September 26. And also, Buhari Kondi talk say the reason why federal government no do some major work for areas where consign mining, power, health, agriculture, water, and educational sector now because the eight Senate no approve the request. The outstanding projects in the plan that were not approved by the legislature are nevertheless critical to the delivery of the government policies and programs relating to power, mining, roads, agriculture, health water and educational sectors. These outstanding projects are well advanced in terms of their preparation, consistent with the 2016 debt sustainability analysis undertaken by the Debt Management Office and were approved by the Federal Executive Council in August 2016 under the 2016 to 2018 external borrowing plan. I've also directed the minister to make herself available to provide any additional information or clarification which you may require to facilitate prompt approval of the outstanding projects under this plan. 
While hoping that this request will receive the usual expeditious consideration by the Senate, please accept the Sungui Senate President the assurances of my highest consideration. You are sincerely, Muhammadu Buhari. And for another letter where Buhari sent to National Assembly, but President Buhari said make them consider and pass Companies and Allied Matters Bill 2019. Meanwhile, before before Chair Mo, Senate Committee on Top Local and Foreign Debts for the 8th Senate, Senator Sheh Hussani bin Toksi, the 8th Senate now approved federal government loan request for $30 billion to save Nigeria for borrowing will go affect them for future. Now, for one talk paper, we'll be saying that Senator Sheh Hussani issue on Friday. He talks say money when Nigeria borrowed from Obodo Yibo for 2015, now $10.32 billion. And now it don't climb to $22.08 billion inside the second quarter for 2019, where it talks say now 114%. It talks say if Senate been approved the loan request, money when Nigeria they owe outside, that is aka external debt for don't reach money way past $52 billion, where the no fit sustain. Senator Sani will be the director for African Center for Peace and Development, talks say. With this kind of borrowing way don't grow, Nigeria will be slaves on top too much borrow borrow. Even as a young say, people where they support borrowing, now consultants will get interest for the money, commission agents, and the one way then they call rent seeking fronts and contractors. And for news we consigned FCT, Senate, Senator where they represent FCT, Philip Aduda, don't call federal governments say on top of the security problem where they face the country now. It will make sense to bring new idea to use fight security wahala and unsobu for the country. Senator Aduda make the call on Wednesday when they yearn for one peace building and conflict resolution campaign will be saying that the Nigerian Film Corporation, NFC, organized inside Abuja. Aduda talks say the program happened so that it will open door how security problem will sharply end so that peace will take this chairman's seat for FCT. The senator can't worry sake of how kidnapping don't they grow muscle inside Abuja. He can't tell security joint body say make them do everything for their power to make sure say all the nyama nyama security matter where the country they face become history. Kidnappers they do not have any place in our society. For anybody who can hold anybody to ransom, I don't think you understand what it means to have freedom. If you do not understand, try locking up this door now and say that everybody will not go out here as free as we are standing here and as happy as we are will be apprehensive. So it is unacceptable. We do not have a place in this society. It's a free society where everybody is to prohibit as God desires and God wants. So for anybody to now think that he is God, because that is what the person has done, to now limit somebody's movement and limit somebody's uh, fundamental human rights and freedom. I think it's unacceptable. When he the young for the program, managing director for Nigerian Film Corporation, NFC, Chidi Amadwekwe, talks a peace building will help bring development and provide window for direct foreign investment inside the country. Ecom asks for collabo as another strategy to deal with everything with a threatened peace inside the country. We are going to use the money that has been appropriated by National Assembly film production and documentary to encourage Nigerian filmmakers, partner with Nigerian filmmakers across the divide so that we may produce films that will tell our stories in a manner that unites us as a country rather than in a manner that divides us because there are so many things that unite us that makes us to be, should rather be a peaceful country than a country where you will find unrest and destabilization. My people, even though Abuja people don't they carry hand for her, they cry. They tell FCT administration, say make them change their mind, bring back Kekena Pep, where they don't ban inside Abuja city center. Obonga government of FCTA don't use handkerchief to block their ear. They say they no go revise the order. They can't advise them, say make them drive their KK only areas where they approve for them. The authority on Wednesday been supervised KK way past 200 relocate from city center to Kubua with police escort. And for this one, our correspondent, John Emmanuel, get more gist on top this level. After the ban, when the Sama Kekena Pep riders for some areas of Abuja, now so 200 of them can't find their way, enter Kubwa will be one of the places where they approve for them to walk. 
Ike Kenna PEP leaders join body, go meet the FCT minister, say, making help them with police escorts so that they go escort them, go Kubua, and the minister no disappoint them for this appeal where they make. Some officials of the Federal Capital Territory Administration get advice for these over 200 Kekena PEP riders with Zoom and South Kubua. My advice to them, they should always be a law-abiding citizen and uh, make sure that uh, they obtain necessary documents for their keke to operate peacefully. Especially, they should have a license that uh, covers them. To bring in the keke na pep into one of the areas where they are supposed to operate. Presently, we are in Kuba. You know, there's a restriction that has started within the FCC. And Kuba is part of where they can operate. That's why we are here. Musa Ibrahim will be the leader of these Keke Napep riders. Talk so he will make sure say he members operate for Kuba according to the law. We assure him that we are going to work together and uh, we are going to work in synergy to make sure that we sanitize our boys, our members, to work peacefully within the ambit of the law. Since we then ban Keke Napep for some areas of Abuja, People don't they cry, they give FCT minister about they can suffer with their IDC for transportation matter. So they should consider us as Nigeria. It's not all of us that have car. We are praying to have our own car. But this is the only little mobile things that we can use. So they're supposed to help us at least so that let this, uh, because we, 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 we that we are working as a all this uh, company work that we are working, they are not paying us enough money and we will not get enough job for Abuja here. Some of them even they beg, say may them bring back Kekena pay people because of how they make transportation they easy for them within the city. This now, John Emmanuel for Wazobia Max TV. Um, for the next story, one joint body with the Torchlight Teams, what they call International Center for Investigative Reporting, ICIR. Don't tell the federal government, say, make them create a register where they go get names of people where they miss from Northeast to help their family know the next line of action. Now, for one roundtable meeting inside Abuja for Wednesday, where they entitled Justice for Missing Persons in the Northeast, the executive director, ICIR, Dayo Ayeton, can they worry, sick of how army people they grab and detain young people for the area? See, they, they, they accuse them, say they be Boko boys. Our Wazobia Max TV correspondent, Francis Onoja, gets the report. Executive Director of International Center for Investigative Reporting, Dayo Ayeton, Yan, say them here are as rumors say Nigerian soldiers where they fight Boko around for Northeast Niger, they arrest young men anyhow. They say, for example, if bomb blow boy for any Ogba inside Borno State, soldiers go just enter the place, arrest anybody where they see. Meanwhile, some of these men, they very, very innocent. Mr. Ayeton still Yan, say Nahim ICIR, decide to go investigation the matter for Borno State. Then come discover say plenty men done they miss for up to six, seven or even ten years. In Kong Yan say make government sharply create missing persons register for Northeast so that the wives, the children and even the parents of these men go know whether they don't buy or they still they are alive so that life go stiffy move on for them. There are thousands of family in the northeast where they suffer because of say they it's, it's not just that um say military soldiers arrest some people nobody know what happened to them the bomb go land for their house like this you know in communities people go just run away some to chad to Niger and all that nobody know what happened to them the government gets responsibility under international conventions to account for every citizen. If the citizens are missing, you must provide information. One Sabi woman where her name na Hamsatu Alamin and na she be the organ madam of Alamin Foundation for Peace and Development, where they for Borno State talk something when of his sweet belly at all at all. They started indiscriminate arrest all young men who be in that city at that particular time. 
if you are a man, particularly a Muslim, and then Kanuri by tribe in that part of the country, automatically you are branded a war to Haram. And then when, and, and sometimes you may not even blame the military because they don't know who a Boko Haram is. My fellow women are becoming frustrated. In fact, uh, some of them have even gone to be radicalized because of these atrocities. So what I want the government from the government is as government's responsibility primarily is to take care of the safety and security of everyone, I want the government to make its security agencies to declare how many people have they arrested since this conflict started and then detain them in their military detention parties. One of Bonga senator where follow carry the matter for head and now him be the senator where they represent the good people of Borno South. Senator Ali Ndume shock everybody when him talk say now only God fit tell Nigerians and even the whole world how many people were done they lost for Northeast Niger. What we are doing now is not only even to account for the missing persons, but justice for the missing persons is number one. You go remember, say this matter of missing persons for not is this international committee of Red Cross don't carry the matter. Come out, say over 22,000 people they miss for that side. Until today, government never do anything about them. This roundtable meeting where International Center for Investigative Reporting organized so far, the story we we'll hear from among the women in no sweet belly at all. The women where they affected, they call on government to let them know the whereabouts of their loved ones, whether they don't die or whether they still there alive, so that life go move on for them. Because according to them, some of them won't still remarry and some of them won't move on with their lives, but they don't know the situation and whereabouts of their children. So then they call on government, say, make it let them, make government let them know the whereabouts of their people, so that life goes smooth for them. My name now, Francis Onoja. I did report for Wazobia Max Television. Joint body of Christians inside the country will be Christian Association of Nigeria. Can they don't they holla say they no support social media and hate speech bill where they carry come national assembly? Even as in talk say they won't use Colombia idea make Nigerians shut up their mouth on top of what government they do. Can President Dr. Samson Ayokunle can tell National Assembly say make them drop the bill and make them bring bill where go solve security problem. B will go build road, school, and hospital, improve light for the country, and most important part, make them sponsor bill where go put food for man picking table and money for person pocket. All this one day for one talk paper will be say now the national director legal and public affairs can evangelist Samuel one call issue for Abuja on Thursday. While he agrees, say people and joint body don't use internet cause commotion to others and even organizations. The Christian group talks say make people stop to the abuse internet technology, waiting then describe for Yuboman language as unfortunate development in the use of technology. Can argue say laws to use tackle people and organization where they use social media the way you know supposed to be, and people where they talk things where they invite hatred they for law book. Then say then they concerned about this one and with these bills, then they distract Nigerians to discuss major issue way concern their survival. And these issues now poverty, corruption, and make them provide things where Nigerians need for hospital will go help body matter. The association can call government for every level, both um, federal, state, and local government, and even the National Assembly members, they make them pay attention to matters where consign security problem, economic hardship, bad road, poor education, and make them build good infrastructure. And for the next story, we no sweet belly at all. Two children don't capo to sake of one explosion for one gas store for Aduke Street inside a Jegunle area of Lagos. Report talks say many other people been there for bad conditions sake of this gas explosion. According by the general manager of Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, Lasema, Femi Osani Tolu, the gas cylinder been the leak before it come explode, and so the accident can affect many shops and many houses. They be don't use rope around the area where this badness happen. My people on us still day for us it take happen and we they come back with business news.
And for business news, President Muhammad Buhari talks the federal government will soon start to build the 600-kilometer Ajokuta Kaduna Kano gas pipeline. When did they yam for the fifth gas exporting countries forum, GECF summit for Friday inside Malabo, Equatorial Guinea. President Buhari talks say the project will make movement of gas from southern part of Nigeria to northern part of Nigeria day easy. President Buhari can reveal say then they also plan to extend the gas pipeline to North Africa. He can talk say the topic for the summit, natural gas energy for sustainable development. He say he enter well and I saw the thing take fit time. Just as he talks, say, the one-day meeting, they happen for the right time because energy supply for the world don't they change from hydrocarbon to renewables. My people, it remains sports news with a show back. And on top sports news, Anthony Joshua don't dismiss people where they tell him, say, make him retire if he lose his second fight against and. And the Ruiz Jr. for December 7. People don't they use one mind, they doubt the 30 year old Joshua after he lose the first fight of his career against the Mexican American for June this year. Some people don't suggest, say, if it we know or if he not take or if he not take back in belt after the fight with Andy Ruiz Jr., make him no continue with his career. But Joshua talks, say, as he used cutting wood, blocking here, say, he no go retire. For one interview, Joshua say he go fit fight until he attained 50 years because according by him, he don't fall in love with the game of boxing. Heavyweight rival, that is an opponent for the fight, Tyson Fury. Now one man will talk say, if Joshua lose to Ruiz Jr. again, make him retire. My people now so it be, but before we go, make we tell on our top story again. Appeal court don't confirm the election of Plateau State Governor Simon Lalong. Senate don't receive letter from President Buhari say make them approve 2016 to 2018 borrowing plan. One Christian joint body, Christian Asso Association of Nigeria, can don't tell National Assembly say make them throw away the bill where consign social media and hate speech. The Ajokuta Kaduna. Kano gas pipeline work will begin soon. Now, so Ogabuari talk. My people, now the size of as it take happen. Thank you, say you join us. From all of us here, my name is Nna Douglas. Una good evening.